All right, so I've been outside working all day about to wing another meal together. A friend of mine earlier posted a picture of a chicken and broccoli recipe or a chicken and broccoli meal on Facebook. And I said, that looks really good. I want to probably make something similar to that later. And I uh, really had no idea what I was going to do, but I like fast, which means instant pot. And I'm going to kind of wing this. You're going to need tortillas or bread, because I'm going to kind of make this into a sandwich. Some olive oil, oregano, paprika, garlic salt, onion powder, salt and pepper, chicken cooking stock. Uh, this is some chicken that my sister bought when I was being treated for cancer, and I really couldn't eat a lot of things, so that's some chicken. Uh, some broccoli and then some kind of cheese. I forgot to look to see what kind of cheese. Hold on. I forgot. A buddy of mine gave me this massive bag of mozzarella cheese. So it looks like it's going to be mozzarella cheese. So how are we going to wing this? My idea is first thing we're going to do is turn the instant pot on saute. We're going to add the olive oil and the seasonings. Then we are going to brown the chicken. Once the chicken's brown, we're going to add a little bit of chicken stock so it don't dry out. We're going to use this pan and this thing to raise the pan up off of the chicken. Add the broccoli to that. We're going to put it in the instant pot on high for about two or three minutes. We're going to pull it out. We're then going to wrap it up into the uh, tortilla. And with it hot, we're going to put the cheese on there so the cheese melts. And that's kind of my idea. So, let me adjust this camera. Let's get started. Turning the Instant Pot on saute. Saute, is that right? As always, you're going to have to excuse my... A little bit of olive oil, since we are going to brown this. Uh, how much? Maybe two tablespoons. That's what I always say. I have no idea if that's two tablespoons or not. Uh, probably ought to add the seasonings. How much? Um, something like that much oregano uh, if i'm going to guess it's a quarter to a half a teaspoon um probably about that much paprika too quarter to a half a teaspoon about that much can you see that my screen went out on my camera can you see that Maybe a quarter to a half a teaspoon. How much garlic salt? Mmm, I like garlic. I really wanted garlic powder, but all I could find was the garlic salt. Mmm, probably a half of a teaspoon. Alright, I really like garlic. Let's go a little bit more. <laughs> um, what else we got? Onion powder. How much onion powder? Well, I was to guess about in between the oregano and the paprika and the garlic salt. So maybe three quarters of a teaspoon. How much salt and pepper? Uh, however much you like. I'm going to do probably something like this. Three or four or five turns. <laughs> How much salt? Mm, one or two. And then I'm just going to dump. This, uh, this is a pulled chicken breast, by the way. My sister got this from Tyson. Again. It was frozen and I unthawed it in the microwave on auto defrost. I have a feeling I need a little bit more olive oil. 
It's a lot more chicken than I thought it was going to be. I don't want to go too much, but I don't want it to be sticking either. So now we got that in there. I need to find something to stir that up with. Looks good. The chicken's supposed to already be cooked. I kind of want it to be brown though, right? Uh, a little bit more olive oil. Basically what I'm doing is seeing how much olive oil is on the bottom of this pan. So I probably, I'm probably up to about three or four tablespoons now. Ah, uh, there we go. And I'm probably going to brown that for like two minutes. And then give it a quick turn and do another two minutes. We'll see how that works out. Not going to make you watch all that though. I'll bring you back in a okay, the chicken's couple got a little bit of color to it. Want to add some of this chicken stock. See that? Probably about, I don't know, a quarter or a half a cup. Basically what this does is keep the chicken from drying out. While it's being pressure cooked. Now I got that done. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel. Which shuts the instant pot off. I'm going to put my rack. With my bowl in there. Probably ought to give that a quick turn. First. Go ahead and add our pan in here. Then add the broccoli. How much broccoli? If I was to guess, that's about three cups. And it is frozen. I'm going to go ahead and put this lid on. I'm going to turn this on pressure cook on high. And I'm going to set it for three minutes. Actually, I think I'm going to go four minutes since it's frozen. Then I'm going to hit start. So there you go. We're started now. I'll bring you back when that's done. Let me give you a tip about cooking meat in an instant pot. Anytime you cook any kind of meat, when this timer is finally done, let it do the 10 minute slow release pressure, the automatic one. Don't reach up here and push it down to vent it manually. Just wait until the timer, 10 minutes has passed. Um, if you do that, the meat is never tough or dry. This is almost done. Already got my V8 juice ready to go. Over here I got a plate, my tortillas, my cheese, because my friend said I need more cheese in my life. And I've got two bowls because this is going to make multiple meals. So um, I'll put the chicken in one bowl, the broccoli in another one. And then, you know, tomorrow I can have the exact same meal again. Or however many days it takes for me to eat all of it. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Actually more like 15 minutes. Go ahead and release the rest of this pressure. Which there wasn't any. Perfect. Go ahead and cancel this and shut it off. Unplug it. Remove the top. We'll set it to the side. I'm going to go ahead and put... Adjust these cameras so you can see it a little better. I'm going to go ahead and put... The broccoli into this bowl. Is that hot? It's kind of funny. I don't even really feel anything anymore. And now I'm going to put the chicken in there. Move this instant pot out of the way so you can see how I'm going to put these together all right so I'm gonna take a tortilla 
Would have been nice. Maybe I should have heated those up in a microwave too, but oh well. Lay it down. Put some of this cheese on there. Cheese is still frozen. I may have to end up sticking these in the microwave. I'm winging this, you know, I'm making this up as I go along. This ain't no recipe. Probably gonna need the chicken next. Mmm, man, it really smells good. There's the chicken. Probably gonna need the broccoli next. Probably should have made this broccoli cut into smaller pieces, but I am starving, guys. Alright, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll these up, and then I am going to probably stick this in the microwave so that this... I may have actually overstuffed them. Oh, well... Something like that. I don't think... I don't think this is actually hot enough to actually melt these, so... Or to melt the cheese. Which is still frozen. There's a lot of cheese. I like cheese. I like chicken too. Now how am I going to stick this chicken in the microwave without it drying out? I got a trick for everything. Covers on these. Let me get this cheese put in the freezer. Anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this with a towel. You could use paper towels or a kitchen towel. And then I'm going to stick it in the microwave for one minute. I'll bring you back when that's done. And there's our finished product. Nom, nom, nom. They could have been a little tighter, but you know what? I'm hungry. My stomach ain't going to complain. They wasn't rolled up very good. And uh, that's the way it goes. So I hope you enjoyed this quick meal on the homestead. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.